Here's your forecast from the first alert weather team. 1250 on this Thursday afternoon and we are continuing to track Hurricane Helene. It is still several hundred miles away from the Cape Fear region, but as we look outside, we have gray clouds filling the sky as we look outside with our first alert sky cam over downtown Wilmington. Temperatures are mild this afternoon with 80s filling the board. Some isolated pockets of upper 70s. Dew points remain humid. We have them deep into the 70s at times, so it's it's feeling warm, humid outside, sticky as well. And for the rest of today, those sticky conditions will continue. We will see some periods of a few spotty showers and storms for the rest of our Thursday. As we take a look across southeastern North Carolina, we do have some spotty showers and storms. This rain band is now moving further inland in the portions of Columbus and Pender counties. Now out to our west, a trough is holding strong over portions of the western Carolinas. Now this trough is really going to be the main steering current for Hurricane Helene as it moves further inland. As of now, still 250 miles southwest of Tampa. Now this system is starting to become better organized as we go throughout this afternoon and is expected to strengthen throughout the rest of our Thursday. As of now, sustained winds of 105 miles per hour, and this is a very large system. And that's why even though the center of the storm is staying well west of the Cape Fear region, we'll be experiencing impacts here locally. And that's mainly due to those outer bands moving through our area. Now notice for the timeline, mainly going to be throughout tomorrow morning. So just as a safety before you head to bed tonight, make sure your WECT first alert weather app is set to follow your location. So that way you can get any notifications for watches or warnings. The biggest thing that we are watching is the potential for some isolated spin up tornadoes. Now that threat is going to be ongoing as we go into tonight and even tomorrow. Now portions of the Cape Fear are under an enhanced risk. That's a three out of five. Otherwise, a slight risk fills the rest of the board and our tornado threat is slightly higher than our potential for some flooding. Of course, here in the first alert forecast center, we'll continue to keep you up to date. And as we time out this system with our Carolina cloud and future radar, that trough will hold strong throughout the rest of this afternoon. Eventually, as we head into the overnight, We'll start to see Hurricane Helene move further inland. Now we're really watching those outer bands here locally. That has the potential to produce some of those spin up tornadoes throughout tomorrow morning. But once we get after midday on Friday, we'll start to see drier skies move in. That threat decreases and eventually some calmer conditions move in for our weekend, but we do have to get through a bumpy Friday first, so make sure you are staying alert. Weather aware, you have your WECT first alert weather app set to follow your location. And as we bring you to your seven and 10 day forecast, we start to take a peek into October, which features some cooler temperatures.